Are you tired of relying on Linktree to manage all of your important links in one place? In this video, I'm going to show you three awesome alternatives that won't cost you a single penny. If you're new to this channel, hi and welcome. My name is Ksenia and I'm a brand and website designer. And here I share Squarespace website design, marketing tips and tutorials for busy creators and entrepreneurs. So make sure to subscribe. First up, we've got a classic option to use your own website. That's right, you don't need to be a tech genius to create a landing page that showcases all of your links in a clear and organized way. Plus, you'll have the complete control over the design and functionality. In my case, I'm using a Squarespace, but you can most definitely replicate the same using your own website provider. If it's not a Squarespace, if you're using Wix or show it or skip to a second alternative. Here I am logged into the Squarespace. This is one of my demo template websites. And here I'm going to create a link tree or basically a page that will host all of our links. So I'm going to navigate to pages. You want to make sure to create it in not link section because we don't actually want people to see it when they land on our website. It's going to be a sort of a secret page in under not link section. And we're just going to share a link to that page, which is going to call it link. Then navigate to edit. The first section should be probably an image. I'm going to select some of the images I already have on this template. So let's click on this pencil icon and I would like to make it a round shape just like that. Then I probably want some background. So I'm going to look for the shape that's looking good. Let's change this color like that. And I would like to remove under the fill screen. I want to toggle this off. Now we don't have the extra padding on the back and I want to hover over it and push it back. So the image is up front. Then I would like to add a text, which would, would be your name or your business name. And I would like to make it centered. Here's our business name. And I also want to align it to the center, just like that. And this is going to be our first section. The next section, just to add a blank section and add a button. So this button could be our first link. So link, go. Then again, I would like to just min minimize this. Now we can duplicate this link click on this pencil icon. And this is going to be link number two. And we want to remove this link and attach a new one. Let's say I want to link it to the showcase. Now again, we, we can duplicate it as many times as we need and we can make it link number three, four, so on and so forth. We can also create another section. Let's make this slightly different color. If you have a blog, let's make a summary of all the blogs that you have on your Squarespace website. Look for the summary, click on this pencil icon. And here we want to select the blog and Okay, navigate in here under the design. I would like it to be a carousel and I want to remove the excerpt, which is all this blubber over here. So we can minimize this section a little. If you have a shop, you can do the same thing with a shop and because this particular web, uh, website doesn't have a shop page, but if you did have a shop, you can click this pencil icon and actually select the page your shop as an option you can select instead of block. Click save and exit. We don't want to have this destruction as a header and a footer. We want to remove that. And Squarespace just recently introduced this. It's a very easy toggle off and on sort of thing. Just click on this uh, gear icon, go to navigation. And here we have show header or show footer, and we want to toggle both off and click save. And now we want to make sure that it looks good on mobile too, because most likely the page that is going to be visited from the phone, switch to the phone option. And now we can add it. Okay. Just extend this a little looking good. We can give it a little bit more space and this part looking good. And you can start sharing it with people and navigating them and you don't need the link tree. So that was the number one, moving on to the number two. And the second option would be a biosites.com. And this is an extension that is created actually by Squarespace, but it's completely free. So you don't need to have a Squarespace website uh, to use it. This platform is specifically designed to help creators and small businesses organize and share their links. Let me show you how to create one. Let's 
create a bill site over here. You can find a link below. You get the option to select your name and then we can continue with Google. We are logged in. Now we can upload our image. Put an image and this image next to it is going to be a, a background image that is going to be shown over here. So you can skip it. Let me see. I think something abstract would work good for this purpose okay great and a little description about your business like that the navigation is to your right so this is your profile we can change the design over here we can see creative bold we can just simply switch between them how fun is this one what else do they have in creative yeah this looks really great you can switch between designs over here I think I prefer this one. And then we, we will switch to the links. And here you can add your social handles if you would like. So it depends what platform are you going to be sharing this on. If it's on Instagram, you probably don't need to add an Instagram handle, but you can add other places with where people can connect with you. It could be Facebook, uh, YouTube, etc. And links are just basically the links we're going to be using to redirect people to our website. Again, I'm just going to use one of the links from my website. Here you we would paste a URL here and then name our link. And we can also upload an image for the link. So if it's a product or something of that sort or a service, it's good to have the visual representation. Upload this image. And now our first link is ready. Then we can navigate back here and add another link. Link number two. We can upload another image. We can add more links if necessary. I'm just going to have two so this video doesn't take forever. Then here under the design, we can change how we want our links to be presented. So we can switch between these options. Also, they have cards on my link in the bio. I'm using, I believe, this one to showcase my products. I really like how visual it is. Or we can use like a stock grid over here. And there is other options. I think this one, like probably the buttons are the best ones because they are smaller and you can fit many of them. From here, actually, oh, we can add a text box if necessary. See, we just added more information and we can mix them. For example, this is our social. We can just, if we hover over, we will remove our socials and they have disappeared. And let's say we want the text box to be the first one. We, all we have to do is just drag them. They have many options, email list, display a TikTok feed, an Instagram feed, add more links. We can have two different sets of links and we can display them differently. For example, we can have a set of links here, then we have some text, and then this set of links we can uh, display in some creative way to showcase our products, like that. Many possibilities here. And then we can also navigate and change the colors, uh, customize uh, typography. Our link is ready to be shared. All you have to do is copy this link and insert it on your Instagram or on your TikTok, social media you might be using. And the last but not least in my toolbox is Canva. Um, did you know that Canva lets you create beautiful landing pages with just a few clicks? You can customize your page with your own branding, choose a variety of layouts, and even add your own images. It's all for free. Log into the Canva and type in links. Search for some templates. Here we have uh, a few options. We can scroll through designs. I want something very simple to the left under the elements we can navigate and find some photos that we can use instead of this background instead of this we can use it for our to be our business name if we highlight this and navigate here to the top navigation bar we can change the font we can also add let's type brand and website design i want to make it larger this is looking great. We can obviously replace this names to wherever is applicable to your business. Then I'm gonna, the next thing would be to add links. I wanna highlight this and click on three dots and add a link over here. Click done. 
now this one is clickable link we're gonna do this with each button we have over here I'm using the same link but um, obviously you want to direct them to different places with each category all the links are ready and now we are ready to share this click on share and what we need to do is select this public view link if you do not see it over here you can click on this three dots more and you're gonna be presented with more options create a public link and then copy paste it and here you can start sharing this here you have it three amazing alternatives to link tree that won't cost you a dime let me know in the comments which one is your favorite and which one you're gonna try